The brand new tool I'm gonna to show you guys later is gonna help you pump out multiple videos a day, but on top of that, you can actually earn money using the tool itself. If you don't really follow any AI news, there's been a massive update with OpenAI that's going to change the YouTube automation game forever. Later in this video, I'm gonna actually show you guys how you can make your own YouTube assistant or really any other social media assistant to help you create content in record times. But first, I actually gotta talk about what the tool is, and it's this brand new feature from ChatGPT called a GPT Builder. This GPT Builder update allows you to create custom AI agents that understand everything about you and your brand and can complete specific tasks like writing scripts, creating thumbnails, and even identifying the best niches or topic ideas for your YouTube channel. We're thrilled to, uh, we're thrilled to introduce GPTs. GPTs are tailored versions of ChatGPT for a specific purpose. You can build a GPT, a customized version of ChatGPT for almost anything with instructions, expanded knowledge and actions, and then you can publish it for others to use. I'm actually really excited to show you guys the YouTube assistant I built later on in this video that literally helps in every step of the process of creating a video, it's unreal. Now these GPT builders aren't just for YouTube automation, it is for everything. In the OpenAI conference, they use an example where they created a math assistant for little kids, as well as grade schoolers, where the GPT was specific to teaching kids how to solve math problems. And this GPT was so great because it understood exactly how to respond to these questions that these kids may have in a very like fun and understandable language so that even 10 year olds could understand complex math equations. But what I think is actually the coolest part about these GPT builders is that later on in this month, OpenAI is going to create a store where you can actually sell your own GPTs that you built. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a YouTube assistant GPT that I built. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and sell this GPT and literally make money from other people using the GPT that I created. And this is where I really think the gears should start turning in your head. It's crazy that not a lot of people know about these GPT builders, and this could be your opportunity to make a ton of money if you're ahead of the curve. So if you can't tell already, I'm like super hyped to get into this tutorial. I really see this as like the app store moment for AI. And if you don't know what the app store moment is, actually back in the day, the app Apple iPhone wasn't very popular when it first came out. It wasn't until the App Store was released, allowing developers to create their own apps for Apple. And that's really when the iPhone started to take off is when there is all these cool different apps that indie developers were making. And these indie developers that first started creating apps for Apple are the developers who probably made the most amount of money because they were ahead of the curve. And these GPT builders could potentially be the exact same thing. So if you're interested in YouTube automation or just just making money in general, let's get into this tutorial so I can show you guys how to get started making your own GPTs. Okay, so let's go over to ChatGPT here. And on ChatGPT, you just wanna to go to the top of the page where it says explore and you wanna select explore here. And from there, you're gonna see a list of different GPTs. Currently right now, as I'm recording this video, the only GPTs listed are from OpenAI. However, later in this month, they're actually gonna be releasing the store so that you guys can try out other people people's GPTs and then upload your own GPTs and the more people that use your GPTs the more money you're going to earn. So you can see there's some really cool ones like Game Time which explains how to play any board game or Sticker Wiz. I'll just click on one of these and you can see there are already preset questions that you can enter. I'm just going to ask my own question. I'm going to say make a kingdom sticker for my YouTube channel and this Sticker Wiz GPT is going to be specialized in creating really high quality stickers and it's going to ask some some more questions like what kind of colors you want to use, what items you want in your sticker. Keep in mind the difference between a GPT and just like regular chat GPT is that it is highly specified with the tasks that it can complete. I'll show you later on in the tutorial, but you actually need to upload your own documentation in order to get the highest quality GPT. And as you guys can see, it just printed out a banger sticker for a nice little crown. I really like this. What's really cool about this GPT is that it actually gives you a link to go ahead and purchase the sticker that got printed out. So that's just an example, but let's get into how you can create your own GPT because that's what you guys are here for. So you can see right here, I've already created this ultimate YouTube creator assistant GPT. And I've also tried out someone else's GPT, which is a logo creator, which is also fantastic as well. But what we're going to want to click is obviously create a GPT. Now the one I'm going to create for this tutorial is going to be a short form script right 
writer, which is going to help us create scripts for shorts that use hooks and all of the information that's important to create a viral short. So when building our GPT, there's going to be two options. We can hit create or we can go to configure and do it manually. I'm just going to do create here to get a base build. So what I'm going to ask in this box is create me a GPT for writing YouTube short scripts that will result in a high retention because obviously the longer retention you have on your shorts, the more views you're going to get. And now GPT builder is going to give us a base model, which we can then go ahead and configure once it's finished. Then it's going to ask you some questions. What do you want to name the GPT? Short script wizard. I think I'm fine with that. And we said yes. And as you can see, it is now named our GPT short script wizard. And it even gave it a AI generated profile picture of a nice little YouTube icon with a script typewriter, which I think is fantastic. So now we can go over to configure now. You can see it put in the name short script wizard as well as a description for what we want. So expert in crafting engaging brief YouTube short scripts for high retention, which is exactly what I wanted to build this GPT for. And it also gives you custom instructions. So you can see your role is to assist in writing scripts for YouTube shorts, focusing on creating engaging and concise content that maximizes viewer retention. And even set in like the tone, like it needs to be clear, it needs to be creative, it needs to be attention grabbing within a short format. And if you just read along to these instructions, it's exactly everything you would want in a short form video. Now, the next thing it added are conversation starters. And if you don't know what conversation starter is, it's just these right here, this box in the bottom corner of our screen. And we can actually test out a conversation starter. So I'm going to say, how can I make this topic interesting for short? That's what I just clicked on. And it's probably going to ask me a follow-up question. Oh, what topic are you interested in? Blah, 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 blah. So I'll just say, I have the topic of how to make a boiled egg, which is a pretty boring topic. And as you can see it now, it is creating a script for us on how to boil an egg. But let's say I don't really want these scenes in my script. I only really want the narration part. Well, what you can do in your instructions is simply include that to your GPT. So now in my instructions, I'm going to ask the GPT, never include scenes in your scripts and it should only be one narrator. So if we reran this, it would remove the scenes. It would only include one narrator and we can keep on adjusting the instructions to make sure we have the best possible GPT. But the best way to make your GPT incredibly specialized is the knowledge feature right here. And this is how you're going to differentiate basically your GPTs from anyone else's GPT because anyone can add custom instructions, but actually adding in PDF files of hundreds of pages of knowledge is really what's going to set you apart. So what I'm doing is I just uploaded a PDF, which is called the YouTube blueprint, which is actually like a 20 page slideshow that's included in the kingdom club. And it basically gives away almost every secret when it comes to creating viral short form videos. It's the exact blueprint I use to grow this YouTube channel right here from zero to 200,000 subscribers in just 10 videos. And if you're actually interested in learning about this blueprint, the link for the kingdom club will be down below. But in addition to the course content, you'll actually get a private discord server where you can ask me any questions when it comes to YouTube or content automation. And unlike any other course or any other guru garbage out there, I actually show you the channel as well as the behind the scenes look because I've actually created successful shorts channels and I have no issue giving away all my secrets for this one channel that I created only for Kingdom Club members. So that will be linked down below. But anyways, going back to the GBT builder, we have now uploaded this PDF, which includes so much valuable information on how to create a successful YouTube shorts channel. And in this PDF, there's a ton of information on how to write successful shorts. So now when we ask the short script wizard to create us a YouTube short script, we're going to see if it's able to identify the things we've outlined in this PDF to create a viral script for a YouTube short. Alrighty. So I just re-asked the prompt with a few additional lines added in. And here's what we got. Gamers, get ready for a wild ride. Rocksteady, the masterminds behind Batman Arkham series are launching a bombshell this week. A video series for Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. I'm not going to read through this whole script, but it does seem to have added in a few key things from our YouTube blueprint, mainly a good call to action towards the end of the video, which is liking the YouTube short. In addition to that, it has a nice opening hook. Get ready for a wild ride. That might make the viewer curious. Well, what is a wild ride? I wouldn't say this script is amazing, but it definitely is a start. And keep in mind, I only up 
uploaded one PDF just because this is a tutorial video. But if I really wanted to create an amazing 10 out of 10 YouTube script GPT, I would upload like 10 different PDFs going super in depth on exactly what makes a good script, which don't get me wrong, I am going to do, but I'm probably only ever going to release it to Kingdom Club members. But if you really want to put in the work, you can do the exact same thing. And I'm telling you, I'm going to be using these GPTs probably for every single video moving forward now. Like if you just watched my video from a couple days ago on Snapchat, I used a keyword GPT, which is a master in creating keywords for your title, description, and the keywords on the actual video. And that video is performing pretty well. So yeah, I'm 100% going to be using GPTs moving forward. Now there is one more thing I do need to add into this tutorial, and that is the add actions button at the bottom here. Now we're not going to go over exactly what these actions can do because it's a little more complex than this tutorial calls for. But essentially these actions are what's going to allow your GBT to become a automated agent. There is a ton of examples on a line and even the open AI conference showed an example where they essentially set up an agent that has full control over like your calendar, your Gmail, all of these different things. And it can do tasks for you. So you don't have to do anything. It could be easy as asking in the chat GPT box, Hey, what do I have in my schedule today? And can you send an email to 10 of my coworkers? You don't have to do anything. And the assistant will literally do everything for you in these actions. I did have to mention that because I feel as if that's going to be a massive part of building GPTs as well, but it is a little bit more complex as you have to like set up APIs and all that. And I'm not really going to get into that in today's video, but if it's of interest to you, I highly suggest looking more into that. Yeah, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and check out the Kingdom Club if that's of any interest to you.